Woo! So it's the weekend. I survived another work week. It was a rather stressful one. As many of you know, I teach and I'm back to school. So um, as I usually do when I have a stressful week, I come home and feed some spiders and play with some tarantulas. Uh, figuratively, not literally. Um, I suppose there's worse things to do to alleviate stress. So while I was feeding some spiders, I found that uh, my grandma stole a ringi molted, so I wanted to do a little update on that. But before I go any further, I do want to do a special shout out to Gunnar Adams. I've been talking to his father via the channel lately, and he mentioned that his son, Gunnar, is a fan of my channel, enjoys watching my videos, which really absolutely made my day. I mean, when I started doing the videos, one of the things I was hoping is I know that my site, I do Tom's Big Spiders, and that can be a lot to read for people that are younger or just getting into the hobby. And so I wanted to do the videos to try to attract more people and hopefully some kids into the hobby so they're not scared of spiders and maybe they'll develop an interest in them and maybe become keepers in the future. So Gunner, thank you so much for watching the videos. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it. That really did make my day. And I do hope that uh, we'll see you making some videos someday because I'm sure you're looking at your dad's spiders and these. And I'm looking forward to the day you're in the hobby and one of our future hobbyists. And maybe we'll see you on YouTube as well. So thank you so much, Gunner. I really do appreciate it. And um, keep watching and hopefully I'll keep entertaining you. So with that said, um, this is my grandma store, Iheringi. I've been waiting for her to molt for a little while now. Uh, she's Her colors are just absolutely gorgeous. I do hope this is coming in on the film. Let me just zoom in just a little bit. There we go. The color is like this bluish. Her body is this like bluish black. And then she's got that nice bright red butt. Just a gorgeous species, and unlike other Gramostola species, these ones really grow fast. I got her at two and a half inches in March of 2015, I believe, and since then, she has molted three times. Now, that's a lot of molting for a Gramostola species in such a short amount of time, and each time she's put on quite a bit of size. So I'm going to try to pull this molt out of here in a minute, and if I am able to get it without disturbing her too much, I'll do a little shot of that, maybe getting measured. But it looks like she's probably about five and a half inches now. So that's not bad growth rate for a Grandma Stola species. These guys eat very, very well. They stalk their prey. They spring at their prey. They it, just not what I'm normally used to seeing for Grandma Stolas, except maybe my Polkra, who's actually pretty voracious eater and they put food away like nobody's business and the, they've got the growth rate to match it so if anybody's looking for you know kind of a step up from the normal beginner species i do think she'd be a good beginner species but she does move a lot faster than some of the other grammys um i mentioned in the other video the first time i actually saw her run at something it, it startled me i'm not used to seeing them move that quickly and she literally charged all the way across this from one side to the other to get to a prey item and got it and i was shocked so right then and there i was in love with her but just a gorgeous animal. I keep her at normal temperatures like everybody here. And I know everybody's probably sick of me saying this. And it's going to be my catchphrase. But it's usually about 72 to 75 in the um, wintertime. And 75 to 80 in the uh, summer. And this summer it's been a little bit hotter. And I have seen her eating a lot more. So it, it, she's definitely put on some size. So beautiful, beautiful spider. These are starting to uh, become a little more um, common in the hobby, at least in the States. I'm not sure other guys across the pond in the UK, whatnot, you guys may have them more than we do. I'm not sure. But I know it wasn't very, um, they, they weren't available as much over here until more recently. And I went to look up slings for somebody the other day and I couldn't find any. So I'll, I'll do a check before I post to see if anybody's got them. But just a gorgeous spider. And if you're looking for a Grandma Stola species that grows quickly, this is, this is your spider. So... Grandma Stola, Iaringi, excellent animal. I keep them. I do, I will say one of the things I've noticed with her that I'm going to update on my other video as well is she does, I will overflow the water dish at time. And when it gets a little drier in here, she does kind of hug the wet spot. So I've been keeping one side of it a little bit moist. So just something to think about other like other, uh, other than uh, other Grandma Stolas that normally like it dry. She seems to appreciate it a uh, little moist area. Sometimes she's on it, sometimes she's not, but I like to give them the opportunity. That was one of the most artic inarticulate things I've ever said. Hey, it's Friday. Sue me. So anyway, gorgeous spider. Um, definitely encourage people that are looking for something pretty. I'll try to get a little closer to her. So hopefully her colors come through that these guys are definitely worth checking out. I love when they're all stretched out doing their spider yoga after a molt. So I'll give her a few days to harden up. I believe she molted two days ago, and then we'll start feeding her again and get her nice and fat. So again, Grandma Stola, Iheringi, beautiful species, definitely worth checking out. 
Um, I love Grammys, but I know some people find them boring. Uh, personally, I love them, but this is definitely not a boring Grammy. And again, Gunner, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching, and um, I'll look forward to hopefully running into you in the future when you're in the hobby. So thanks, guys.